technology is developing so fast which has caused all of us to have one certain addiction in particular and this addiction is social media with a whopping 5 billion users using social media this is literally 60% of the entire world using social media we are constantly on our phones but this isn't actually our fault they are using advanced technology to figure out how they can stimulate as much dopamine in our minds as possible to keep us addicted to the phones if they can keep us on the social media app they can make more money from it i believe that social media has taken away one of the most important abilities that humans have and that is the ability to focus focus is everything without focus we cannot achieve or accomplish any task that we want to get done i believe that social media is also taking our time away and this is why people are developing adhd and this is because they simply cannot focus and i believe that this is coming from our social media platforms social media has caused other issues too and i think the other big one is that it's taking away our time i mean before quitting social media my daily screen time was six hours a day which yearly adds up to 216,000 hours wasted and 120 minutes on my phone yearly and what is there to show for it nothing social media was meant to be created to help people connect with each other but i believe that we have all become even more disconnected since having social media i've noticed the younger generation struggle to communicate in real life much more than the older generation do and this is because social media has made us able to communicate behind the phone and we're much more comfortable doing this and this is why online dating has become so much more popular because people can just do it over their phone now in today's video i am going to explain to you how you can break your social media addiction and spend a lot less time on social media and towards more important tasks in your life first step only you using the apps when you actually need to use it. So this will mean removing the apps off your phone and only downloading them when you actually want to go on the app. I think we can all agree that going on social media has just become a habit for us. We don't even know why we're doing it. Now I want you to picture yourself if you've ever done this before. We are simply on autopilot with social media. Now I noticed that I used to open up my phone, scroll on social media and it would take me a few minutes to even understand that I was actually on my phone scrolling. I didn't even consciously do it i was so unconscious and i just picked my phone up and i didn't even realize i was doing it until i started to scroll we can lose hours and hours of just watching videos we're not even understanding that we're doing it so i noticed that when i removed the apps off my phone and only downloaded them when i wanted to use it this made it a lot more harder to go on the apps because one it takes a lot of time to go on the app store re-download the apps just to go on it and scroll for five minutes every time i'll pick my phone up on auto pilot i then would scroll through see the apps weren't there and then the most time i would actually just put my phone down and this is what helped me stop getting in the consistent flow of just randomly opening your phone and this is one of the steps that actually helped me the most i believe that if you are trying to get rid of an addiction you simply need to cut back cut back cut back there's no point in saying i'm never going to go on it again i'm just going to delete it and push through because most time you'll end up scrolling a day or two later just download the apps when you need to use them whether that's the post something or to post a story just download them and then right after you've done that delete the app the second one is to turn off your phone notifications now this is a huge one we most of the time only go on social media if a notification on our phone goes off they have created these notifications to get your attention and get you to open your phone and this is why they send notifications when you see a notification pop up on your phone you always check it it doesn't matter what it is your mind's like so intrigued to find out what it is and then you end up clicking on the notification going on the app and then you're scrolling to turn notifications off on your phone this is very easy to do you can turn it off for every single app i only have text messages that pop up i don't have any apps now this is only a step for if you are not deleting the apps on your phone because obviously if you don't have the apps on your phone the notifications aren't going to go off if you are keeping social media on your phone then this is definitely something that you need to do is to turn the notifications off and you'll find that you will go on the app less and less three is there is an amazing tool that you can now use 
which is limiting screen time and limiting the apps that you go on. You can actually set a timer to go on these apps. Now I have set a timer of an hour a day for my social media platforms. I don't actually use this anymore. When I was trying to quit, this helped massively because if you overuse the time, it actually locks you out of the app and you cannot go on the app. So this is an amazing tool that it will keep you in the boundaries of going on social media. And I believe that you do not need to go on social media more than an hour a day. You can pretty much catch up on anything you can catch up on what your friends are doing within an hour I'm gonna stop all of these endless scrolling for hours and hours because you've only got a specific time limit the next step is to stop taking your phone everywhere now we have been glued to our phones everywhere you go someone's got a phone on them you see people on their phones walking down the street on their phones we are just so addicted to our phones. now if you remove your phone when you're going for a walk or if you decide to go out for a day with your family, do not take your phone with you. Leave your phone in the car if you go for a walk. Leave your phone at home if you don't need it. You're gonna be like, well, I need it for a murder. Okay, well then turn it off. Don't have your phone on and put it in your bag so you can't really access it. And this is gonna stop you mindlessly scrolling. Now, what we do is we go somewhere. So say we're waiting for a doctor's appointment. We simply just sit there and scroll because we don't wanna be bored. But maybe sometimes it's actually about enjoying being bored and actually enjoying the present moment what's around you the whole reason you are going out for a walk is to be present it's not to sit there answering phone calls scrolling for an hour now, if you can't go out for a half an hour for a walk without your phone you feel like you have that much work to do then that's an issue yourself that you need to resolve because everyone can find at least an hour a day to not be on their phone not have their phone anywhere near them now the last point I have is to try and focus in other areas this is going to be a lot harder because we are so trained to not be able to focus find something in your life that means more to you than being on your phone whether that's your work whether that's your girlfriend whether that's your friends do that more so that you're not on your phone if you want to meet your friends more you're going to be spending less time on your phone if you want to put that into work you're going to spend less time on your phone and social media if you want to go out for more walks or go to the gym a bit more you're going to spend less time on your phone and this is crucial find something that means more to you than someone's post on Instagram Instagram or scrolling on in Instagram endlessly. This was the main thing that helped me quit my social media addiction and this was focusing in other areas of my life that I wanted to improve in. I wanted to get better in the gym so I went to the gym more. I wanted to get a bit better at my work so I focused on my work more. Then I was on social media less and less and this does bring me on to a bonus point which is to actually find new hobbies. Find something you've always wanted to do and just dedicate an hour a day. That's an hour a day you're not on your phone if you want to be good at art start drawing for an hour instead of being on your phone start reading for an hour so you can learn more working or trying a new hobby for an hour that's less time you're on your phone if you add all of these points in you are going to spend next to none on your phone because what you will realize is we are just programmed to go on our phones even when we don't even know why we're going on them these are the main thing that has helped me lower my screen time on social media these are important to follow we are breaking an addiction so it's not going to be as easy as three two one quitting social media to so use these tools to cut down your screen time till eventually you can fully fully quit social media you will find huge benefits i hope this has helped you Please like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.